Alright, when do guys buy aftermarket fairing? Truth is, if you buy a second hand bike like myself and uh, existing fairing is in pretty good nick, I suggest don't buy it because even if your fairing your second hand bike fairing is in good nick if you buy an aftermarket fairing for sure it's gonna boost up the, the cost of the bike but and, and the bike will look brand new but the fact is you will be spending a bit too much and you're still riding the bike so that new fairing is gonna get scratched and uh, damaged but if you buy a brand new bike, there's a different story because it's brand new and you know how fucking expensive OEM fairings are in the first place so I would probably suggest I suggest that if you're going to buy a brand new bike then buy an aftermarket fairing immediately because you don't want to damage the old fairing <coughs> because of wear and tear and get this if you buy, if you still have your OEM fairing, brand new, and uh, you're gonna have questions and all that stuff on your second uh, fairing, when you do resell your bike, it will be brand new because the OEM fairings will disguise all the scratches and and so on. But, now, I'm not encouraging any of you guys, if you guys drop the bike or have an accident and all that stuff and uh, you guys trying to cover it up when you're selling it, I, I'm not encouraging you guys to do that. So, but in the end of the day, it's your life, your money, whatever you want to do with it. But I do not endorse it. Because some other guy, imagine this, if you are the guy that's buying the bike, you are the one that's going to have a fucked up day man, I can tell you that and you get ripped off nobody likes to get ripped off whoa so my suggestion is only buy an OEM fairing for two reasons one is that if you are buying a brand new bike or number two you have a second hand bike that or you have a bike that you want to sell and your fairings are damaged but it must beef up your profit uh, should I say beef, beef up your losses because uh, because if you don't <coughs> and we have and we are talking about like eight nine hundred dollars so you're looking if, if your bike is gonna be like uh, two thousand dollars in the hole when you sell it in, in the market then it's probably worth getting it because you know you're, you're, you're boosting up the, uh, the the retail value but in the end of the day that's my opinion uh, do whatever you gotta do it's your money your life uh, so thanks for watching <laughs>